this is the first thing in Oracle Database Administration that we are going to study is the Oracle Database Architecture. The architecture of Oracle Database, it will clarify to you what is the Oracle Database Institution file structure. What are the Oracle instance? What are the memory areas used by Oracle? What are the background processes used by Oracle? Okay. How does an SQL select query run within the Oracle database? So, architecture is very important because if you know architecture, then only you can understand database administration of Oracle because everything in Oracle relational database is somewhere or the other connected with the architecture of the Oracle database. Maybe as a programmer you don't require to know architecture, but as a DBA it is mandatory that you should be very well versed with the Oracle database architecture. Now, Architecture, this topic, it is a purely theoretical topic and it will take around, to my knowledge, around 8 to 10 classes to complete. It is a large, it is a big topic, lot of theory. I will be sending you some files also as we are studying the architecture. I will be sending you some files on a daily basis as to whatever we are reading, here there is no practical, but this topic I am repeating again is one of the most important topic of Oracle DB. After completing architecture, the next topic we will see is the installation of Oracle, Oracle software installation on Linux platform. So, if you know basic Linux commands, that is very useful for Oracle DBA. So, we will see how to install Oracle on Linux operating system. We will also see how to install Linux. Linux installation will also be covered. Next. After installation, then you will understand so many concepts like what are kernel parameters, what are the various files that have to be configured in Linux before installing Oracle. You will also get concept and clarity about uh, facts like what is Oracle Home, what is Oracle Base, what is Oracle Inventory? So many facts will be revealed over here. And that is very important interview point of view as well. Next. Oracle Database Creation Using SQL create database command. So we will see how to create database, how to create an Oracle database manually by executing create database command. It also covers creation of database instance. 
So, what is the instance you learnt in architecture? How to start instance, how to create instance, you will see in practical session. And then we will see how to create database. After creating database, next topic will be table space management. Cover how to manage the space in an Oracle database. So, in an Oracle database, how are we supposed to manage the space of the database that is covered in table space management? Very important topic. This is having several subtopics like extent management, locally managed table spaces. Dictionary managed table spaces, table space group, okay, and table space practical. So. There is theory and there is practical both in this topic, table space management. Next topic is user management. Covers management of users, roles, profiles and privileges. So, this is again very important topic, how to create the users, how to assign roles to the users, how to assign profiles to the users, how to manage the privileges of the users. All this is related with user management. So, here also you have theory and practicals. It will also cover additional topics like quotas, what is quota? how to assign quota to user, very interesting topic, user management. Next. Next is networking. It covers how Oracle client and server connectivity can be configured. So, here you will see topics like listener, TMS names dot ora, listener dot ora, database links, okay, and uh, how client and server interaction can occur. So, again networking is very important. Here also you have one more topic, remote login password file. So, this is all everyday work for a DBA table space management, user management, roles, profiles, privileges, networking, these are daily tasks of database administrator, this is basic to Oracle DBA, anybody should know these topics. Next, after net networking, we have control file management. Log file management, archive log management, undo management, 
and undo table space slash back query slash back drop control file management will deal with how to manage a file called as control file which is part of the oracle database in oracle database we have one file control file how to manage that file log file management will deal with how to manage redo log file that is one of the file of oracle database archive log management we will deal with how to manage archive of oracle that is again required for recovery so there is one file called as archive log file in oracle database that file is required for performing recovery in case of a disaster so how to enable that file archive log file we will see undo management and undo table space it deals with how oracle can perform operations like roll back operation you may be knowing in sql if you write delete command the data will be deleted from the table but if you type roll back the data will come back so from where is the data coming back actually it is coming back from undo table space so there is one table space in oracle called undo table space whenever we delete data from table data will be transferred to undo table space once data is transferred to undo table space at any time we can perform roll back based on this technology of undo we are having some concepts like flash back query flash back query is a concept wherein we delete data from a table and we get commit but even after committing we want to get back the data that we had deleted earlier so maybe i deleted 1000 rows from one table and even after deleting 1000 rows i want to get back the data of the 1000 records so we will go for flash back query using flash back query i will retrieve those 1000 rows back again even though they are deleted and committed so what is flash back query what are its restrictions under what situation you can do flash back under what situation you cannot do flash back what is undo retention what is undo retention guarantee several concepts will be covered in this topic undo management now up to undo management whatever we study this is basically called as core dba oracle core dba 